Hey, good morning, YouTubers. This is Ben. And uh, this video here is... <sighs> it's going to be a different video. But before you watch it, I uh, just want to let you know, um, I wouldn't let the kids watch it because it's going to showcase my 15-year-old uh, dog that I had to put down. And it showcased the process and the day and the day uh, the events that we went through the day and then of course you know a little bit of pictures towards the end so um, it's up to you I just want to let you know that uh, that it might have some stuff that's disturbing especially when uh, she's delivered the uh, shots so um, viewer discretion is uh, um, advised hey everybody this is Ben um, it's a Monday and today it's a little bit of a somber day a little bit of bittersweet we have more or less than bitter today is Maya's 15th birthday and this morning when she got up um, she was whimpering um, she lost all bowel movements she's throwing up and she's shaking she can't walk now and so she's laying down, I had to clean her up. So I called the vet and we got an appointment today at two o'clock. And we will make the decision today if uh, we need to put her down. So I'm just gonna videotape her with a little bit. And uh, Hoku's over here. She's, Hoku's whining and whimpering and staying close to her. So I think she feels something's going on. And there's Hoku, and there's Maya right here. Hey girl, it's all right. You know, if I had Maya since 2008, I brought her home uh, at six weeks as a puppy. She's traveled from Hawaii to South Carolina to uh, here in Tennessee, Hoku, sit down, back, <laughs> down, um, she's been really, really well, so, and if you never had to put down a pet, uh, I think it's one of the hardest things to do, so, um, she's shaking, you know, shivering like when she was little when fireworks or some loud booms, she'd get really scared and start shaking. Uh, she's shivering right now, shaking like she's scared. So all I can do is just wait till two. It's be the longest couple hours and uh, we'll see how that goes. So I, um, it's gonna be one of these videos, so. We'll check back here in a little bit. No, Hoku, you can't go. You can't go, Hoku, no. Hoku, no, you can't go. 
sorry. Poku, no. She's, she's going to the doctor, okay? Right now, we're on our way to the vet, and uh, I'm taking my 15-year-old uh, dog, Maya, who has been, health has been failing. So uh, we're gonna, the doctor wants to see her and wants to let her make a decision where if she needs to be put down a day because she has some health issues, so. This is going to be one tough, tough car ride. So, uh, let's do it. Let's go. have been the most wonderful dog for 15 years. We've been through a lot. <laughs> so no matter what happens today, I just want to let you know I love you. Poku loves you too, okay? Thank you for 15 years. This one is to make her relax, put her to sleep. Sleep, 
sunlight. So it's been about four minutes since they gave her the sedative to put her to sleep. I mean, they haven't given her the shot to this, the, the five hole shot, but she's falling asleep now. I can feel her trying to swallow air or her. I can feel her heartbeat off my leg. This is pretty quick. It is. It's a barbiturate anesthetic, and when you give it, it usually will cause them to breathe a little bit deeper. Stayed right there by my side From taking walks and chasing balls Running up and down our halls Those memories I won't forget I know he's not here, but man, I bet If good dogs go to heaven 
That's where mine's gotta be Jumping through the waves and playing fish On a beach by the crystal sea I bet he's riding around with Grandpa On those shiny golden streets And if good dogs go to heaven He'll be at those pearly gates Waiting on closer we grew and it didn't matter where we'd go but if there's a chance yeah i just know if good dogs go to heaven that's where mine's gotta be jumping through the waves and playing fetch on the beach by the crystal sea Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I'm sure uh, uh, you didn't make it through. Well, if you made it this far in the video, I'm sure uh, you did it with a box of Kleenex or a tissue and uh, uh, no dry eyes because it's hard not to uh, become emotional, especially if you have owned a, a uh, a dog or a pet and Maya was with me for 15 years so she was not only uh, a pet but she was part of the family so today um, it was a tough night but uh, every day we're gonna get through this it's gonna be a little bit of it's gonna be tough but uh, with the support of my friends and family uh, who have sent texts and comments and, and gave me phone calls thank you very much I appreciate it but Hoku and I will, hey, come here. Hoku and I will uh, get through this and uh, it'll take some time, but uh, it's uh, something that you never uh, can plan for. Um, just the emotions and the process that you uh, go through, it's, it's pretty tough. So I just want to let you guys know if you own a dog or a, a pet, a cat, um, and some of you have may already gone through some of this, but uh, it's 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 pretty tough. So, but you know, in my last video, I was mentioning how tough the week was, and uh, this was thrown into the mix, the bowl of toughness, and uh, definitely made me uh, mentally challenged, um, uh, testing my uh, my my reserve but uh we'll get through it just have to take one of them you know take each and every part of this uh um, chapters in life one by one and uh a buddy of mine um willie gray gave me a phone call yesterday and he and he really made me think about uh well he said something that really made me think about uh maya and uh, he said that how I was gonna plan for me to do my cross country trip with uh, Maya being sick. And I said, you know, I had it planned. I, I didn't know what I was gonna do. I didn't know if I was gonna take her with me, leave her back here with some friends, or, you know, I, I, I didn't know. And he said, uh, uh, 
she might have known that and kind of used this way of not being a burden. And the ironic part is uh, yesterday was her birthday. Um, so she turned 15 on the day that she uh, passed away. But, uh, um, you know, was, that was kind of ironic, but uh, something to think about. And, you know, last night, this one here was sleeping in her spot and kind of looked for her and from room to room. And uh, this morning we went for a walk. We actually took, uh, took her collar and uh, walked with her. And if he's on the back here, we um, I put her collar up on the tree because Maya used to love being on the porch in this tree. So um, I didn't cremate her, I didn't bury her. I, I let them dispose of her her body, but I kept her collar and we put it on the tree as a reminder. So, but anyway, um, again, thank you and uh, for all your support, and I appreciate it and. Uh, We'll see you guys on the next video. And this even makes it more um, the meaning of, you know, be kind to your neighbors, treat them well, and really spend time with your family because you really don't know how long you got left with them. You know, I started my day um, planning to build something in my truck, not putting a, a loved one down. So. And most of all, no matter what life throws at you, and sometimes it will be hard, always be separate Come through the waves and play fish on the beach by the crystal sea. I bet he's riding around with Grandpa on those shiny golden streets. And if good dogs go to heaven, he'll be at those pearly gates waiting on. closer we grew and it didn't matter where we go but if there's a chance